I'm being chauffeured around Las Vegas, not in the back of a limousine going down the famous strip. I'm actually in the back of a car where the man behind the wheel isn't even touching the wheel. What exactly is the car doing when you don't have your hands on the wheel? Well, it's using its outside sensors to form a picture of what's happening on the road right now. So it's looking at the cars, it's looking at the lines, it's looking at road boundaries. Then it's basing its decisions, following the car in front. I think it would take a while before I just trusted it. If it cannot follow or if it's in any way unclear, it's asking me to take over, which I just did. It kind of reminds me of Bewitched, that American series about the housewife witch, because I see your hands there not touching anything in this steering wheel is moving back and forth so it really makes me feel like there's some type of magic going on yeah i'm sorry i just can't wiggle my nose the way nicole kidman can it's not so black and white i think we think of a car with a driver or a car without a driver this is kind of like an airplane that uses a pilot but sometimes it goes into autopilot you can just say hey i don't want to drive right now just take over and if I want to want to be back in the driver's seat, I'll just grasp the wheel and go. In the state of Nevada, an amateur like me isn't allowed to drive a driverless car just yet. But maybe in a few years I can get in here and let my hands rest. This is what the technology was looking like at last year's CES, right? Exactly. And now it's looking like that. That's what you see inside here, exactly. We have in the car different sensors that we're using in the front, on the rear. What you see on, on the mirror of the camera, we have this eye here. So I just took a spin in one of these. It wasn't 100% smooth. It wasn't just driverless technology. You needed to drive behind the wheel. There were some sudden stops. What's the biggest challenge right now to get it to that next phase where you need the driver less? You know, I think that there's challenges that we're talking about. First of all is uh, the, the situations that you find outside, which when you drive and you're used to drive, it's for you, it's pretty simple. But if you look through sensors, the world is different. If you had to sell it to me right now, if you had to, how much would you charge me with all that technology that you've crammed in here? Um, we don't talk about prices currently, you know.